Hey there, this is your orchestration tutor Thomas Goss. This year's orchestration challenge features Vasil Barvinsky's Prelude in G Major. It's going to be fantastic to see all the entries from our community celebrating the work of this long-neglected Ukrainian composer. But there's something even more we could be doing for Ukrainian musicians. Three months ago, I woke up to a message from a composer in Ukraine. She'd sent me a file of her latest work in progress, fearful that it might be destroyed as rockets started to hit the buildings around her in the city of Lviv. She told me that she'd put her soul into the piece and had no choice but to leave it to me for safekeeping. And so that file sat on my hard drive for weeks as she tried to find some place of safety. My friend is safe now, but far from home. Her story is only one of many for Ukrainian musicians in recent months. Concert halls are being packed down and abandoned, performances canceled, careers on hold. Some musicians are on the front lines defending their homes and families. Others have fled the country. I don't want to even speculate how many have died in the ongoing war. Now, it's not my intention to change the direction of this group from a dedicated focus on orchestration. I try to avoid political discussions in general in the group because I'm very much unqualified to moderate them, and they tend to spill over into long, exasperating food fights. There are other groups on social media that are way better at that sort of thing. All I'm saying is that we have a chance here to help, in our own small way, the musicians of a country that's currently being crushed. That's why Barvinsky is such an apt choice for this year's orchestration challenge. His music was singled out for destruction in the 1948 Soviet composer purge. All his scores were rounded up and ritually incinerated, as if a piece of music were some kind of evil that should be burnt like a witch at the stake. Barvinsky himself was sent to a labor camp for ten long years. We're lucky that anything he composed survives today. It all feels so senseless, just like what's happening now in Ukraine. Meanwhile, in today's version of reality, all the other craziness of daily events has rushed in since February and put Ukraine on the back page. Our lives seem scarier today with violent lunatics, rampant inflation, human rights treated as a political football, and all the other things that wind us up and try to tell us that we're not safe. But still the war goes on in Ukraine, and still their musicians are under the gun or cut loose from their homes. I can't tell anyone else what to do, but I know what I'm going to do personally. I'm going to try to help these people. And I invite anyone watching to do the same, whether you're entering the orchestration challenge or not. There are some great charities out there to which one can donate to help Ukraine. The one that channels aid specifically to Ukrainian musicians is the special relief fund set up by the Lisa Batyashvili Foundation. This fund directly assists orchestral musicians, whether they've fled the country or remain to struggle on. Recipients are identified through networks of musicians and employment records. We're all living in uncertain times as musicians these days, but even just a few dollars sent to this fund could make a difference to our fellow musicians in Ukraine. Wouldn't it be great if everyone involved in this orchestration challenge sent at least a small donation to the relief fund? Then we'd know we were making a difference, instead of just sitting here biting our nails. But there's no obligation as far as the orchestration challenge is concerned. You can donate or not, it doesn't matter. I'm not counting donations to see who helped or who didn't. That makes no difference to me. But as far as Patreon is concerned, for the next two months I'll be donating a portion of the support funds I get there. So if you join me on Patreon as part of the challenge, then you're already helping Ukrainian musicians. Thanks to everyone so much for taking the time to watch this. And for all my friends in Ukraine, please know that we are with you and we care. Slava Ukraini!